Hi, good afternoon. My name is Carla Mancha and I'm the Chief Executive Officer for the Housing Authority of the City of Brownsville. And thank you again for joining us for these virtual reen events that we started here with the Housing Authority um, since we went into the whole COVID phase and, and doing the social distancing. So we've been having these reen events since April. But prior to that, we had our Saturday re monthly reen events um, and that started back in October of 2015. So we're happy that we are able to continue doing this. It looks different, but it's working out really well. And we are having the opportunity to also introduce to you um, special partners, special individuals who have supported the Housing Authority. And together uh, with them, we've been able to help not only the families here that we serve in the Housing Authority, but families all over our community of beautiful Brownsville. So today I have the honor to introduce to you Ms. Dandy Bilon. And uh, Dandy is, originally you're not from Brownsville, right Dandy? Right, I'm from the Valley. I'm from Urgrand City, so the opposite end of the Valley. Yeah, and but you are here now and you consider Brownsville home. And you work for Guadalupe Regional Middle School. And um, prior to uh, working with Guadalupe, you, I understand that you graduated from T Pan Am and you also studied at Boston College. So um, you Boston are- Boston University, Boston University. <laughs> Boston University. Thank you, Dandy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so uh, what, uh, what brought you to, to Brownsville? And can you tell us more about what you do at Guadalupe? Yeah, so um, I was living, uh, so like you said, I graduated from Pan Am and was very thankful for my experience there. I learned, uh, truly learned about uh, my home in a way that I don't think I would have learned uh, otherwise. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Boston and lived there for um, multiple years before my uh, family decided to move to Brownsville, uh, specifically uh, uh, because of the mission of Guadalupe Regional Middle School. So. Um, it was a, a draw for my family, and I've now been here 12, somehow have been here at Guadalupe for 12 years. And like you said, called Brownsville home. It's a beautiful city, um, and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more, you know, honored to be a part of it. Well, we, we are grateful that you are spending some time this afternoon with us. And we also want to take this time to thank you and Mr. Motel for being wonderful partners to the Housing Authority. Um, and before you start reading your book, I also want to mention that um, it was your birthday yesterday. So happy belated birthday. And um, I, I know that you, you also have two kids and, and I saw pictures of you and, and your youngest son. So. Congratulations on that and happy belated birthday. Thank you so much again, you know, just, uh, it, so I had my birthday on a Monday and so I came to work and all of the kids here at Guadalupe all the students sang to me and um, you know, wished me happy birthday all day long. So it was a lovely, it was a beautiful day for sure. And uh, truly, um, you know, Guadalupe is just such a lovely, wonderful place uh, that's really trying to opportunities for students who might um, not get the quality opportunities otherwise. So it's just every day I come into work so thankful. And yesterday was just a reminder of what a beautiful place I work at. So. Well, thank you. Um, so please say hello to everyone over at with your team. And so let's go ahead and start with the book. Would you like to um, tell us what book you're reading today? Yes. So um, I had some help picking this book out, but it's dandy. Oh. Which yesterday so uh, we went with the book that uh, just to keep the celebration going if you all will indulge me so the book is dandy uh, it's written by Amy Dykeman and illustrated by Charles um, Santoso so here we go just make sure so dandy Some beautiful uh, green there. So, Daddy spied something scary on his perfect lawn. He ran for the clippers. Uh oh. 
perfect lawn. But he was too late. Hi, Daddy. Sweetie, Daddy said. That's a weed. A flower, Sweetie said. Her name is Charlotte. She's my best friend. Daddy hoped his friends wouldn't notice. They did. A weed! It'll take over the yard, the neighborhood, the universe! You know what you have to do. Daddy did. He tried during book time. Uh-oh. But Sweetie was there. Hi, Daddy. He tried during nap time, but Sweetie was there. Hi, Daddy. He tried during snack time, but Sweetie was there. Hi, Daddy. We saved you a spot. Once again, Daddy hoped his friends wouldn't notice. They did. Get serious. Daddy got serious. Oh no. But Sweetie was always there. Hi, Daddy. Until it was time for swim lessons. Bye, Daddy. Take care of Charlotte. I will. Daddy said he couldn't wait. Vroom! We'd meet your doom. Doom! <laughs> but Daddy spied something else on his once perfect lawn. Sweetie's painting. I can't do it, Daddy cried. We know. They were Daddy's too. Then Daddy's snips slipped. Uh-oh. No! Daddy wailed. Charlotte! They knew what they had to do. Oh, goodness. Everybody hoped Sweetie wouldn't notice. She did. Daddy, Sweetie cried. There's something wrong with Charlotte. Look. Daddy looked at his lawn. He looked at his little girl. He chose. It'll be okay, sweetie, Daddy said. Watch. Hi, Daddy, sweetie said. Meet Charlotte two and Charlotte three and Charlotte Four and Sweetie Beans. Aren't they beautiful? Daddy smiled. Yes, sweetie, he said. They're dandy. <laughs> <laughs> the end. Very cute. I was waiting to see where um, the name Dandy would come in on the book. <laughs> Right at the end, the little dandelion. Yeah. Well, that was really nice. Thank you so much, Dandy, for being with us this afternoon. And um, please give our best to everybody there at Guadalupe Regional Middle School. And if you, anyone wants to know more about Guadalupe and the and the mission that they have and their wonderful school, please feel free to, feel free to reach out to Dandy and her team. I'm sure that they'll give you all the information that you need. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you.